Hello and welcome to another Doctor System 1 video um, and today I'm reviewing uh, another 3.75 inch figure from Wave 2 um, that is of course the Dalek Assault Dalek with claw arm um, but before I go into this uh, I just this review I just need to apologize that I haven't shown you the packaging or as I just show you the card back so this uh, this review and the Zagon and so on We'll have this being shown to you. Um, anyway, yeah, you've got the Weeping Angel screaming. I've reviewed that one, and I've reviewed the 11th Doctor with Tweed Jacket. On the card back, it does just state that it's uh, just um, with its uh, uh, without its Tweed Jacket. It just says the 11th Doctor. Um, then there's also the Imperial Guard Dalek with uh, sensory arm. It says, but just looks like a weird of a weird gun thing but anyway um the only other figure that i haven't reviewed yet is the zygon that i do have um i haven't got the 11th doctor regenerated or the clara or the imperial dalek with uh sensory arm they're all out of stock it also shows you the time zone play sets for this sort of wave which is the hide uh hide uh one and the Weeping Angels take Manhattan. Now the odd thing is, it shows you shows aim uh Ror uh, shows Clara in that uh, diorama, even though it's one from where uh, part one of the series. Um, and also there it says combined sets for great adventures, and yet they're the wave one uh, sets and not the wave two ones, which is a bit weird. But yeah, the seven uh collect seven action figures. Uh, and that's all seven of them. So yeah. Uh, on to the Dalek. Um, I do really like this Dalek. It's well designed. It's very small, obviously, uh, in comparison to a sort of the series three, one, the five inch one. Um, it is extremely small. Obviously, this one's black, um, and that one's uh, bronze and gold. And that, um, out of the packaging, the claw arm did snap off, or come off, um, but there is paint in there, like bronze painting, and uh, it's really nicely detailed, just claw arm, and so on. Mm. I'm going to have to put the camera down, it's a bit hard to... Uh, Put back in with one hand. But yeah, it has um, normal articulation, full 360, um, claw arm, up and down at the eye stalk, full 360 exterminator gun, full 360 at the head, and, uh, and so on. I can't really move the head with one hand available, a bit tight to do that. It has the wheels on the bottom and all the legal garb um, at the bottom as well. Um, I can't seem to find my other 3.75 inch Daleks at the moment and that um, to compare it to. So, but yeah, it is practically just the same, same old Dalek really. Uh, same body as this one. Uh, the only major difference probably is that there it has that sort of text in that little box below its eye stalk whereas that one doesn't because obviously the uh it'd be extremely hard to do that um oddly enough uh this figure was extremely rare to get in five inches so maybe that's why they re-released it at, um on this scale because they knew that people couldn't really get it five inches uh the five inch version uh th this figure doesn't obviously come with a base plate um, but as I did say in my Weeping Angel review, I didn't get why the Weeping Angel does get a, um, what is it, base plate. Um, because it's basically the same, it's just on a flat surface really. So, I don't get that, but yeah. Looks really nice at side views and so on. Let's just move this Dalek out of the way. Looks really nice at like a side view and so on. Nice. Just a very basic and yet effective uh, Dalek so yeah um, 
yeah, I thought I was going to really like this figure, which I do, don't get me wrong, but it's extremely kind of bland. I thought it'd be a bit more oomph to it, but I guess in my head there is more oomph to it, just because of the kind of claw arm and that. And it's very iconic, this sort of figure for me, because I remember watching the episode um, for the first time and seeing this one, and it was like the only... At the time, the only other um, sort of Dalek that had a different type of weapon instead of its plunger um, at the time. And it was really menacing and looked really badass. Um, and I think, even though it's only 3.75 inch scale, uh, it still encaptures that uh, very, very well. And, that, um, and so, yeah, um, for that I'll give it a well-earned um, 10 out of 10. So, yeah... Um, my next uh, 3.75 inch figure review should be um, of the Zygon, which um, out of the figures that I have reviewed so far is definitely the best one, but anyway, I'll go in more depth about that. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.